Good golly, Miss Molly, sure like the fall. Good golly, Miss Molly, sure like the fall. When you're rocking and a rolling, when your mama calls. From the early, early morning to the early, early night, when you call Miss Molly, rocking at the house of blue light. Good golly, Miss Molly. Hi guys, this is How to Play Good Golly Miss Molly by Little Richard. Um, awesome old school rock and roll song. And uh, it's a 12 bar blues in the key of G. So that means that it's going to start, the chord sequence will start on a G chord. And there, it will be 12 bars long and then repeat till the end of the song. Now there is a formula for 12 bar blues which means the other chords in the song have to be a C and a D, which are the other two chords in this series uh, of 10 songs with your three chords G, C and D. And But this also means that we can not only learn this song, but we can learn quite a few other songs with this same chord sequence. So one chord sequence, and you can play along to a load of songs, really worth your time and, uh, and putting, putting some effort into learning this because um, it really gets you ahead of the game in knowing what chords go together really well and um, learning a chord sequence. So we're going to begin your 12-bar uh, blues in G with four bars of your G chord. Um, the, you want to check out the chord sequence below, I've quickly written it out so that you can uh, check that out and, and see the chords in front of you because it is 12 bars long, it is a, a little bit to remember uh, to begin with but if we just strum once per bar, four times, so Good golly Miss Molly Two, three, and then four and then we're going to go to your full normal C chord Good golly Miss Molly that happens twice. Back to a G, you sure like a ball. Twice. So that would be eight bars so far. Four bars of your G, two of a C, and then back to your G chord twice. So that's not a lot of movement compared to some chord sequences that are kind of this fast or uh, kind of have this much, much content in them. Most of the work of a 12 bar blues happens in the final four bars um, where we'll hit your D chord for one bar, a C chord and finish on your G chord in this one. Sometimes some 12 bar blues songs finish on the D chord after that but this one's just gonna, gonna come back to your G chord. Um, so that last four bars one more time from the D chord when you're rocking in a rolling to a C, then you hear your mama call back to a G there. And that's where it would finish, the G would happen for two bars. Um, if we just strum once per beat from the start of that chord sequence, then um, we'll see how it all fits together. So, um, if we use the good golly Miss Molly to count us in, rather than having to count in one, two, three, four, then you can join into the original much easier. So we'd start on Molly. Good golly, Miss Molly. Okay, so we'll do that one more time. It's just kind of showing you where we're going to start from. From the top. Good golly, Miss Molly. You sure like a three and four then to see Miss Molly. You sure like a ball. Finally, D. Last four bars. That's the end of your, your 12 bars and that would just cycle for, for most of the song. Um, there is another section which has stops and this is quite um, frequent, frequently happens in any 12 bar blues song, especially rock and roll, but those first four bars, which at the moment are just G, 
we're gonna mute at the start of every one of them. So we strum and straight away dampen your strings to make sure that it's it's silent straight away. So from the early, early morning to the early, early night when we come this morning rocking at the house of blue lights. So we do three mutes and the final bar that was a G, we're just gonna leave it in this particular one. Sometimes it would kind of hit G, 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 then rock onto your C chord, but we're, we're just going to do it three times as it's shown in the chord sequence and um, then you, you continue on from your chord sequence as normal. So when it joins back in, good golly Miss Marley, we've already gone to the C chord because we've already kind of played over those first four bars of G. So with the stops, if you want to watch it first, just one more time. From the early, early morning to the early, early night When we caught Miss Molly rocking at the house of blue light Good golly, Miss Molly Sure like a ball And it continues on as normal So play along this time and then we will fit those sequences together Like I did at the beginning of this song And then you can uh, play along to the original um, So, from the, with the stops from the early, early morning to the early, early night When we caught Miss Molly rocking at the house of blue light Good golly, Miss Molly Sure like a ball To the D chords When you're rocking in a rolling C Back to G And then it would start again um, So if we do one round of your 12 bar blues and then one round with the stops, then you can see how it all pieces together. Still on the beat for now, because this is a very fast chord sequence to do. It's a very high tempo song, so we're going to be looking at your strumming just in one second. But play along to me first of all. Good golly, Miss Molly. Sure like a ball to the sea. Good golly, Miss Molly. You're like a ball And a D When you're rocking in a rolling C Back to a G to finish And then you mute in one, two, three From the early, early morning To the early, early night When we caught Miss Molly Rocking at the house of blue light Good golly, Miss Molly Sure like a ball When we're rocking Hear your mama call. Okay, and to fit in, if you're cool with that, um, we can do the strumming pattern, which is eight down and up. One and two and three and four and down, up, down, up, down, and down. Remembering that your down strokes have to be on the beat and up strokes on the beat as a bit of a rule when doing downs and up strokes. Um, so from the top, just one round of a normal 12 bar blues in G, basically. One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Two, three, and four. Then C. One, two, three, four. Last one, so D. And the C, back to G. And finish it there. Um, that's great stuff. That will give you the, the feel of the record. It's a little bit faster kind of record speed. Good golly, Miss Molly. Sure like the ball. It's kind of the idea. If you want to play along to it and you own the song, always recommend VLC Media Player. Or if you're a Mac person, QuickTime has a function where you can slow down songs as well. So that's really, um, really fantastic. And uh, please play along to the record, that is where you will really learn your stuff on this one. Um, other 12 bar blues songs in G, um, the one that's most similar to this is Rave On by Buddy Holly. So, the little things you say and do make me want to be with you. Rave On, it's a crazy feeling, exactly the same feel when you say, I love you. So it's, it's exactly the same chord sequence, played at kind of the same tempo, 
um, with, with very little variation to the one that we've just learned. Um, other ones with a bit more variation to them, um, the Everly Brothers version of Lucille is also in G, um, so Lucille, you won't do your sister's wheel. Again, changing to the G, from the G to the C in the same place, um, that's really useful. And finally, just a really famous one, um, No Particular Place to Go by Chuck Berry, um, is also a 12 bar blues in G. But there's stops all over this one, so it is a little harder to find out what you're doing, but um, you will get the hang of it if you listen to the song and kind of hear the chord progressions going. So riding along my automobile, two, three, four, one, my baby beside me at the wheel. Um, so in this song, you would basically um, play one bar of your G chord and then rest for the next bar because that's where he would sing. And then play a bar of G, rest, and then go to a C and rest. So every other bar is the same chord sequence as your good golly Miss Molly, but you rest for a bar as well. And the introduction is before the first bar as well. So the first beat of the bar... That's where you start playing. If you want to give that a go, I'm kind of doing this with, with swing strumming, so down, up, down, up, down. You could do it down, 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 but there needs to be a bounce to it. So one, and two, and three, and four, rather than down, 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 making everything even. For an, as an example of that, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. And the song will go, Riding along my automobile My baby beside me at the wheel Three, four, one I stole a kiss at the turn of a mile My curiosity running wild Cruising and playing the radio Mute on where we would have gone to see Because we're, we're muting every other bar With no particular place to go and back to G again. So all basic open chords and you can play along to a Chuck Berry song which is, is pretty cool. No need for a capo as well because we're kind of learning enough so uh, chords now not to have to rely on the capo as much as we did in previous videos which is really cool. Um, but a capo can also still be used. That's how to play a 12 bar blues in G with your three chords. Uh, check out my other videos and please subscribe so that I will make you more of these uh, kind of basic beginners videos. And I'm sure I'll see you again.